So hi, this is Kelly Cameron of Kelly's Color Studio. Welcome. Put together this little video to show you guys something that I stumbled across that I'm crazy over. Um, I was sitting there going, this is so great. Why didn't I think of this before? Why didn't I think of this before? It's common sense, really. And it was like a smack your forehead kind of moment for me. So do your stencils look like this? I mean, after a while, you get to where you just really... <laughs> You don't clean them like you should, right? Um, I've got... Okay, here's one that looked like this. This is one that I hand cut from bacon plastic. The whole thing looks like this, this part. And I cleaned it. I left it sitting overnight. And this is what I got. Look how clean that is. Is that crazy? And all I had to do is just come in and kind of wipe it and then rinse it. Ta-da! It looked like, see, this is this one's not as thick, but this is really thick on here. Can you see that texture on that? Can you see? Oh, my goodness. Look at the paint on that. It was all like that. So I cleaned half of it for you to see. And this one... The whole thing was like this, and I soaked this half, and I came back with a, a wet scrubber kind of brush, and I'm just I'm just here doing this. And after a few minutes of just brushing like this, it just comes off. I had done this the other day, that's why it's so incredibly clean. But I just wanted you to see this. I'm amazed. <laughs> And this is just an old acrylic brush. It's, I, I call it a scrubber brush because that's about all it's good for anymore is just scrubbing. And yeah, okay, so this is not totally pain-free. You do have to do a little bit. But really, you know, when you finish with this and it's pretty clean, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that is great. It might have done better if I hadn't have left it for two days. Okay, I had to go to the doctor yesterday, so I was out and about, and but look at this. See it? It's coming off like, I can use my palette knife. Look at that. It just comes right off. So easy. Oh my gosh, so easy. Look at that. So yeah, if I had gotten back to this yesterday, instead of gallivanting around, <laughs> all of this would just be rubbing off right now. Let's see what the other side looks like. Let's take the scrubber brush to it. Oh yeah, see it just coming off? It's just amazing. Let's see here. Let's zoom in a little bit for you so you can see. Look at it all just coming off this side. This must have been the side that was down because it must have soaked in it or stayed wet longer, you know? Let me get a new paper towel. I want you to see this. You just won't believe it. Yeah. Now this one, this little bit that's left. See, now that I've brushed it some and it's, I've moved the stuff around, it's going to come clean. You also could take a scrub brush like this and just do like this. This is so much easier to me than running to the sink right after I'm through, you know, printing. Because usually after I print, I've got my papers to deal with. And I don't feel like dealing with cleanup, right? But look at this. This is just great. Now I'm going to get rid of this stuff. And I'm going to clean this stencil in just water so you can really see how great it looks. And I want you to know this is something I just stumbled across. And am I going to tell you what it is? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Look at that. Except for a few little places. Look, it's just rubbing off. The stencil is like new. Isn't that great? Oh, I should take these dry things. They dry. Take them to the sink. 
scrub, 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 scrub. And then I got all this paint going down my sink, you know? Don't like that either. Look at that. That is all right. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and you're not going to believe it when I show you what it is. And if you're anal like me, you can get in here and say, aren't what? There's a spot. There's a spot. I got to get that spot right there. But just to show you how, how great this is. Oh, my gosh. That's just like new. Just like new. What did I do with my other one? <laughs> now I'm not going to be able to find it, of course. Okay, so there was this one. This one is what they all look like. This one is half and half. Um, yeah. So I'm going to show you what it is and how I how I do. This is how we do it. Um, I'm looking for a bag right here. Just there it is. I have these these bread bags from Walmart that are great. It's probably better to use a bag than just a piece of, of plastic because the bag will contain the liquid. It won't run all over, right? So get your bag ready. And I have my acetate down here so I can just work right here. I can get it ready and then put it in the bag. I need to have a couple of paper towels ready though. Okay, here we go. You know what I'm using on this stuff? Big secret. <laughs> the Masters brush cleaner and preserver. Wet oil paint, dry oil paint, watercolor, acrylic stains. Keeps brushes like new. Okay. This is good stuff. I condition all my brushes with it. And it's like this cake of soap. See, this is so used up. But I've got four or five of these things going. You wet your brush. Make a lather. And yet it does this. It'll get a hole and it'll spin around. This, this reminds me of when my dad used to shave with a razor and a jug of Old Spice soap or something. When I was a kid, he used to make his lather and then shave. Do you remember that? I just dated myself. So... I'm going to just brush this on. I'm going to add enough water to make a good lather and then bring some of that wet stuff out onto this. You just want to coat it real good. Make sure it's nice and coated good. Flip it over. I don't think I have any paint on this other side, but this will help loosen up all the little holes. See how easy this is? Okay. Make sure it's coated. Put some more on here. Now I'm going to put it in this bag. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to pick it up like this. And I'm going to turn the bag wrong side out on it. I think that would be easier. Okay. So now my bag is in there. My bag is in my stencil is in my bag. And I can. I'm going to. You can pick this up. Or get some more here. I'm going to go in there and just make sure this is all nice and gooey. I'm also going to take my water bottle. Where did I hide it? There we go. I'm just going to wet this down real good in there so that it doesn't dry out on me. Okay. And I'm going to leave that be overnight. And you know, you can even. can lay it down and braid. If you can get the air out of the bag, it would stay. If you can burp it. I'm not doing a very good job, am I? Okay, here we go. Look, you could push the soap around in there. You see how that's sticking now? It's nice and wet and gooey and it's sticking on both sides. That's what we want. And just fold it in half and leave it somewhere. We'll open that up tomorrow. Now here's another gonna do the same with this and I got something else to show you in just a second you won't believe it same thing here lots and lots 
let's see what the other side looks like. Oh yeah, we got stuff here too. We got, well, actually no. Yeah, we do. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we'll coat both sides just like I did a minute ago. It's nice and gooey. Here's my bag. I might be able to just slide that in there. I don't know. I'm not feeling very graceful today. Okay. Saran wrap might be better. I'm still figuring it out. Y'all, I just figured this out a day or two ago, and I'm already showing you because I'm just so excited. I can hardly stand it. So, I'm going to put some more soap in there. I'm going to hold this still so it won't spin. Got a nice, see that lather right there? I'll put some more of this in here. Make sure it's nice and wet. Flip it over. I'll do the other side. Okay, and we'll let this sit until sometime. Well, you know, actually, I may open these up at the start of my demo on Friday, and we may clean these. So if you'd like to see how this comes out, join me Friday morning around 10 o'clock on my Facebook page for a demo. And we will open up these that are in plastic. I might come in tomorrow and add some water to them so that they're wet, so they don't dry. But we'll, we'll open those Friday morning. It'll be like Christmas. Now I want to show you one other thing. We all have the brayer that looks like this, right? And there are some artists <laughs> that like to save the paint on the roller and then peel it off. They call it skins and they make art with them. That That's great. I'm not one of those people um, because I already saved too much stuff as it is. And that's all I need is like one more thing to save. <laughs> so that's, I just don't need to go there. Okay. Oops. So I'm out of the bread bags. So at this point I could use a freezer bag like this. Or if I could find my saran wrap. But it's hiding from me. Okay, I will just use this, but I wish I had that other piece of plastic now. Okay. And I could actually even pre-wet this, see? Put some water in there. And just get going. You could even put some, go ahead and put some lather in there too if you want. It can't hurt anything. I mean, gosh, it'll only help. Okay. Some of that stuff in there. Squeeze it off the brush. Here we go. But look. The other day, I came in here. I had shown you guys... I called it a hack, a shortcut. Like if you're finished with your art, your printing, and you don't want the paint on your, uh, if you don't want the paint on your brayer to dry and get hard, I showed you this. And this is, <laughs> it came back to haunt me. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Okay, here we go. For wipes that are supposed to be one-handed, they sure weren't. Okay, so this is what I do when I'm working and it's time to, I need to uh, leave the brayer for, to go to lunch or something. I'll do this with a baby wipe. I'll roll the brayer up in a baby wipe and when I come back, it's still fairly wet and I can just keep printing if I want. Or then I can go clean it. But this way the paint doesn't get hard on the brayer. Well, I did this and then went somewhere for two days and I forgot. And when I came back, not this one, but my other brayer, my speedball brayer. This baby white was completely dry, and all the paint underneath of it was completely dry. And when I went to pull it off, it tore in pieces. And I thought, I've ruined my brayer. I've completely ruined my brayer. Well, guess what? Yep. I did some of this. Now, this is not in the same condition that my brayer was in the other day with the thing stuck to it. But I just did this. Now my other brayer pops out of the handle. It's one of those that, where is my handle? This is the handle for that brayer. You know what I'm talking about? Just pop it out. But I, this is what I did. I made a nice lather with the stuff and I put it on. Yeah, I'll put it in here too. Let's clean the whole thing. Now this one does not pop out. 
The other one was able to, but this one does not, so that's fine. This is a really old one, I think. God, I can't remember now. At first I thought it was, now I can't remember. Never mind. Okay, so I'm putting this in this bag. It was different with my other one because it was just the roller. So I could roll it in the plastic. But this I can do like such. And I could actually put some tape around it to keep so that the plastic will stay in touch with the brayer. It won't dry. So maybe like this. Yeah, that would work. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I mean, that's not going to stick because I got soap on it. Four yards of tape later. <laughs> I'm also trying to be a little bit quicker than I usually am because I know you're sitting there waiting for me. So, Okay, so I'm doing this. and I'm just going to make sure this all comes into contact with soapy stuff and I'm going to leave that setting also until Friday morning. I might come in and shake it around or squeeze it, but I won't open it, okay? My promise to you. I want you to see my old brayer. Look at this. Do you see how nice that came out? It looks stinking brand new. This is probably a 20-year-old brayer. That's how clean it came out. Yep. So, there you go. Look at that, ready to go, just like new. I should clean my handle too, now my handle looks really bad. But look, if we're gonna clean and condition our brushes and this stuff, if it's gonna, okay, so like this brush was solid to about here. It's one of these brushes I got, I got some glue in it or something, you know, sealant or glue or, uh, something and this is this brush is plenty old and you can feel it right here it won't bend these bristles bend to here but this part right here will not bend it's glued solid and every time I use this as a scrub brush when I'm done I leave the foam on it and I just condition it, the bristles to go the way which is funny because I'm scrubbing with it but anyway this is how you use this stuff it's, it's a brush conditioner and you put it on there and you, you can leave it there. Just just set it on your brush holder and leave it, you know, propped up and let it. And all you do is before you um, get ready to paint, just clean it real well in water. Get all that soap out of there. Um, it removes old paint. It gets rid of color. You, you know, you, you clean a brush in water and you think you've got it clean. But then... If you wipe it on a paper towel, you might see a little pink or whatever your color was. So this gets that last bit of stuff. You know, you thought it was clean, but it's not. This will take care of that. So this is that. It comes in different sizes. And no, I don't work for the company. I'm not getting anything for this. But I just, like, I thought this cleans my brushes. Why wouldn't I use it on stencils and stuff? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just saying. It's fabulous. I love it. And I hope you will too. And you can get it different places. Um, anybody that sells art supplies pretty much has got it. I mean, you know, Blick, Cheap Joe's. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at art and craft stores. You can get it. And they've got, it comes in big. I've got a tub the size of a Cool Whip container with this in it. I've got big ones and little ones. I use little ones for traveling when I go to open studio or, you know, um, plein air or someone's house or or I just want to take some with me, but I don't want to tote a whole big container. So anyway, this stuff is the bomb, and I've always loved it for my brushes. Now I love it for my stencils too. Ha! Huh. I'm just over the moon. So anyway, I hope that this helps you. It has certainly helped me, and I'm tickled to have found it. Um, if you like this video or and or any of my other ones, my channel is new. I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, not a whole lot of stuff going on, and I'm trying to get it figured out, I'm trying to do some, gear up to doing some live videos for you guys at some point. Um, so if you liked this, please uh, give it a thumbs up and, and you know, let me and the rest of the world know you liked it. And if you click on the little bell, that'll subscribe you to my videos, and next time I put one out, you'll get a little ding-a-ling. 
So that would be awesome. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your time. And also, as always, thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Couldn't do this without you guys. All right. Have a great week. We'll see you Friday morning at 10. Bye.